And welcome back again, everyone. Good to see you. Today we have this big old tote, plastic container, whatever you'd like to call it, storage container, full of Hot Wheels, Matchbox, and other brands it looks like, so we'll get right into it. A couple loose cars. There's the 24 Hours mystery model car. This is the actual full scale of it, rather than uh, the Finder's Keepers car that I found, a car that you get with a chocolate egg. Might have to show that after this. So scoot it back so you can see. Here we have an off-brand fire truck. I've had this one for a long time. I don't even think it says made. Oh, it just says made in China. So you can see when it comes to the scale, it's a bit bigger. Probably 156 or something like that. Here's a matchbox, copyright 1999. Mattel, this is a street cleaner. I know they call it the mini swisher now, but. There's a lot of differences with this and the Swisher. So this comes out. There's a little bristles on each side. Coming out, scrubbing the street. And you even have this right here that comes out. Pick up some trash or something. So that's very cool. Let's see if it, it does go up too. A little bit dirty. I'm sure it's been in some pretty crummy looking storage bins from my childhood. So there's that. Now this one's super cool. This one has Ford Motor Company stamp and uh, 2004 Bigfoot 4x4 ink. Muscle Machines, it looks like it says. 2003 Fun Line, made in China. So we have a big old Bigfoot truck, and this one is a pullback. It goes pretty good on carpet, too, actually. And we have another pullback right here. This one's an early, early... What is this, some Hot Wheels? 2002 SFX Motorsports, Inc. Interesting. Toy 3 out of 5, so I'd like to know what the other ones were, but I think I had two of these. Tom Mentz drove the Goldberg truck and also Team Mentz truck, and now the Maximum Destruction truck. So this was his truck that he drove in the early 2000s. 2000 to 2002 World Champion, and the Team Mentz truck... Let's drop you down a little bit here. A little bit more would probably be better. There we go. Let's see how he does. And that is not a full pullback. Let's go ahead and pull it back all the way. This one goes pretty far. There you go. He's got some speed. We have another Matchbox. I've had this one for quite a long time. 1985 Mattel Inc. In 195th scale. 1985 it says on there. I'll show you the base. I'm sure that's not the actual release year. It looks like all metal. This thing's always been really heavy. Nice bus. Police trans. Or transport, excuse me. And this one's been through a whole lot. Big old heavy die cast piece. Here, plonking against the floor. Next one we have a Hot Wheels. This one's a five alarm fire truck. Very cool looking casting. <clears throat> Excuse me, I like that one a lot. Almost looks like it's got chrome glass rather than a uh, see through or any kind of dark smoke. So that one's very cool. Next one looks like a scanning truck. Desert Thunder V16, 2006 Mattel stamp on the bottom. Looks like our Scania truck, Scania truck, however you pronounce that. But on a smaller scale, it's even got a hitch on there. So that'd be really cool to haul around a little something with that. Check out the shocks on it, wow. Got some sway to it. I'm sure that'd be cool on the track. Uh, is there anything else loose in here before we get into that? Looks like it. Looks like we have our Humvee from our camouflage set. That's what it is. Hot Wheels. Pretty cool. I doubt he'd fit on the track though. Pretty wide. Another Hot Wheels. We have a cloak and dagger. This is the one I played with when I was younger. Pretty cool looking. This part removes from the base. Crazy fantasy casting. 
And here's a matchbox that was a pretty big peg warmer, as they say. I saw this one on the shelves a lot, just sitting there like nothing but these sometimes in the matchbox section. We have a little forklift. It goes up and down. It's most likely because of the quality. I mean, it's got some metal on it, but I think even the plastic, the fenders are plastic. This part's plastic. But hey, it's still kind of cool, you know, what the heck. Try to pick up that Humvee. Bit too heavy. Alright, what else? We have an El Camino, I think. El Camino, yep. Yeah. Here that is. Crazy looking thing. I kind of wish I would have left this one on car just because of how crazy it looks, but I went ahead and opened it when I found it. To do some races with what we find in here. I see some more loose stuff down in here. I'm going to dig all that out. Hey, here you go, Tyrone. I know you like your Ford Transits. You seen this one before? Pretty cool. It's a roofing truck. A van, I should say. Very cool, play warm. Had that one for a while, if I remember correctly. Push everything back, set it right there. There's a carbonator. This might have been one of the first carbonators that I received. Crazy look of fantasy casting. You can open up your soda with it, or whatever your preferred drink is. Any kind of bottle with a cap. And here we have the big old Blazer, Chevy Blazer 4x4 from the Camo series. That'd be cool to do some custom work on. Possibly take out that orange glass and strip down the paint, do something cool. Of course, it's got an orange interior, a red interior, so that would look a little weird, but here's what it is. This one's pretty cool. This is an older one. I think it's from the 90s at some point. Intel Inc. 1982 is the stamp on there, but I know it's not from 82. Check this out. Very cool truck. I think it's only got a couple little chips here and there on it. I'll try to keep it in good shape. Yeah, some chips on the front, but pretty close to mint. All metal. Very cool. Try to spread everything out a little bit there. Alright, now we're getting into the stuff that's on card. Went ahead and pushed all the loose stuff to the side. Here we go. First one. Matchbox Audi R8. Great looking car. I have that one loose also. There's the back. Very cool car. Oh, here's a fast Hot Wheel truck. Was the king of the hill for a while. The 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. Lovely looking red color. Another Matchbox 63 Austin Healy Roadster. I tried to do the same thing with Matchbox too. When I find one that I liked, went ahead and picked up two to open up one and have one in the packaging. Let's go ahead and just pull out a whole thing here. We have a red version of the Chrysler Pacifica Hot Wheels. Crazy looking rally Pacifica. We have a variation of the Porsche 917 LH. I think I've got almost every one of these other than the Golf one. I might have the Golf one if I remember. Very cool looking. And there's another Chrysler Pacifica. I probably should have showed those two at the same time. I know I have a blue variation of that also. Alright, what else do we have in here? Boulevard Bruiser. This was from the spring 2019 set. I did find every car in this set back whenever I was hunting for it. A couple trips to the store and I was able to find them all. I love the card work on there. Very cool looking. And here's the Mopar set that I mentioned. There's our Dixie Challenger. Card's pretty messed up. I did find these in this condition, so 
That is what it is. I see another one from that set. This one's in a little bit better shape. Only found one of this one. 70 Dodge Challenger RT. Beautiful car. Only found one of those though, so I had to keep it on the card. 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT is our next truck. Hot Wheels again. Love these big old trucks. What else do we have? 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor. That won our race recently. Nissan Silvia, the first edition. The most recent edition. The first one I found, anyway. Custom Ford Maverick. And that great looking color combination with the flames. Have that on short card. A matchbox, 1971 MGB Coupe. Like that card work also. Looks like it's coming out of the barn. And a Nissan Skyline GTR. Got a bunch of variations of that car. Picked up a whole lot of those. Keep it going. What else do we have here? 95 Mazda RX-7. So I'm sure I've shown these before. I pick up a lot of duplicates sometimes, not even realizing what I've done. International Armored Car. This one's a matchbox. I remember when I first started collecting heavily, I found this one and thought it might have been a little bit special just because the card work was different, but I think it's just from a candy set that they did. So I have, I think, two or three of these from there. I think these three. Gotta find the other ones at some point. An 84 Pontiac Firebird. Very cool looking. Love the actual castings of cars. Here we have an interesting one. I'm not sure what happened to this card, but it's kind of messed up. Have the Baja truck. Great looking variation. 19 Mercedes Benz A Class. I love these wagons. Or hatchbacks, whatever you'd like to call them. Great looking. Trying to go through fast. We have a whole lot. There you have two more variations of the Mazda RX-7. I already showed those, so I know I have two of those now. Anybody interested to trade those for you? Just send them to you out of niceness. Another time a taxi. Never opened up that one, so I have two of those. 2016 Mercedes Benz or Mercedes AMG GT3. Love that variation of that one. Very, very cool. Let's move these out of the way and keep going. Okay, moving along. 67 Shelby GT500. I like that one. Of course, I like all these. <laughs> 67 or 64 Chevy Nova wagon. Done a couple variations of that car. 1965 Mustang 2 plus 2 fastback. As I show these to you, let me know if you hadn't seen any of these before. Here's my other variation of the custom 72 Chevy Love. I have the Zamac version of this as well. Here's another Tootsie Hummer. Or Humvee, excuse me. And I think I see the rest, if not all of them. Uh, there's six of them, so I have... I've shown one. There's four more from the Spring 19 set. Let's go down through these. Gazella R is our first one. Pretty cool looking. I think all these are fantasy cars. The Speed Slayer, I think that's the one that I kept trying to find. That or is Power Pistons, I believe. I think it was Power Pistons. So Power Pistons is in here somewhere. Carbonic. Pretty 
crazy looking fantasy castings. And the Nerve Hammer. So I'm not sure if these were available in five packs or anything like that, so that means they were only from this set. Exclusively to this set, I guess you could say. Keep it going. There's another 1970 Chevelle SS Wagon. Another GT500, 1967. Another Porsche 917 LH. Red variation. 69 Dodge Charger 500. Nice flat blue looking color. 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. There is a Zamac edition of this as well. I don't think I have it. Alright, there's another version of the Porsche 917 LH. This one's in blue. Another Chrysler Pacifica. Drifsta. Drifsta. Try to pronounce that correctly. <laughs> I have the mystery model of that also. Corvette Grand Sport. I think I have that whole 10 vehicle set. There's two more from it right here. Three more from it. Morris Mini. Corvette C7R. Sixty nine Dodge Charger. Picking all these up, I don't have any idea if like number ten out of this set would be a treasure hunt. But uh I'll have to check it out. I got one. Oh here's ten. It's the drift oh, oops, sorry not to drop something. The drift set. And there is no symbol for treasure hunt, so that must not have been a treasure hunt set there. Let's keep it going. What else do we have in here? Bone Shaker. It's a variation of the Bone Shaker. There's dozens of color combinations of that. Here we have the Surf's Up from the Tokyo 2020 Olympic set. This one would have been from surfing. Porsche Panamera and a Polizia livery. Very cool, the red windows. Fast Felon. This one would have been from the same set for athletics. I think I tried to get every car from that set. And here's the last one from our spring 2019 set, the Power Pistons. I love that fantasy casting as well. Very cool. And this one, the Land Rover Series 3 pickup. Still has the sticker on there. I spent 99 cents for it. Pretty much the same price everywhere you go. See another Matchbox, the 94 Audi Avant RS2. I have this one loose too somewhere. Love that car. Three more in here. I know it's a long video, and a lot of them have been. I appreciate you hanging around. 85 Honda City Turbo 2. The black variation. Red base, red tires, or rims, that is. Very cool. And another 95 Mazda RX-7. So you can see I was really trying to collect as many of these as I could. Got a lot of these at different times, so I had forgotten what I already picked up. Gonna have to do some sorting through and get all my duplicates out for trades and random acts of kindness. 98 Honda Prelude is going to be our last car. Prelude, Prelude, how do you pronounce that? Tomato, tomato, not too sure. 
Well, there you have it. We have a whole big old stack of cars once again. Went through that whole bin. Gonna have to get these put into the drawer. And I appreciate you watching. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.